Hey, remember those D, D8, Super 8? <laughs> remember those old Super 8 movies that used to clickety clickety click? And uh, you didn't have any sound with them? <laughs> you just got a chance to watch everybody moving a little bit faster than what the machine was coordinated to do. Kind of like what sometimes our webcams do. Sometimes I think about starting out a new project like this the same way. It's like those old Super 8 movies. Everybody was so excited to get one, you ran around with a camera handle. Then videos came along and everything else, and now you just do it with your phone. And you know, all of that's fun. All of that's good. But you know what I got out of today? is that I realized how exciting it is to turn it over to God, to take what I have and give it to Him and see what He can do with it. And that's what emotional is all about. You know, it's not a big deal. It's nothing special. It's nothing sensational. It doesn't have anything new or improved. If anything, it has things that are used and old they have been around for a while, like God calling. But what God can do is that he can take old things and behold, he makes them new. Doesn't he do that with you? I know he's done that with me. God likes to speak to us. That's why he's calling. Are you listening? Am I? Down through the ages, my power alone has kept millions of souls brave and true and strong who else would have fallen by the way. The faith has been kept alive and handed down, not by the dwellers in ease, but by those who struggled and suffered and died for me. This life is not for the body. It is for the soul and man too often chooses the way of life that best suits the body not the way that best suits the soul. And I permit only what best suits the soul. Accept this and a wonderful molding is the result. Reject it and my purpose is frustrated. Your best prayer unanswered. Progress, spiritual progress, delayed. Trouble and grief stored up. Try each of you to picture yourself and your soul as a third being trained by us, by you and by me. Then you will share and rejoice in sharing in the discipline and the training. Stand apart from your soul with me and welcome the training and rejoice at progress. You know, that brings to mind one of the things that I always like to think about and one of the first oh, Christian articles that I ever wrote <laughs> 30 years ago was, uh, I think I called it the possessed person or the possessed Christian, because when you become born again, in a way, that's what you are. You're possessed, so to speak, by the Holy Spirit. He comes inside you and he begins to live inside you. And it's just like a quote unquote false weirdo movie you've seen where they show some demonic possession and comes inside you and you know, that's the other thing that's in there. Well, in a positive way, God comes and sits inside you as a guest that you invited in that you asked to be your salvation but the real question becomes whether or not you invited him in to become lord of your life do you want him to possess you completely or are you dispossessing him constantly by pushing him away from those areas of your life that you don't want changed that is very sinful and quite frankly, disgusting as far as he's concerned, and you may enjoy it, but he may say it's time to grow up. I once said that uh, Christians are schizophrenic because they often go back to the flesh rather than the soul and rather than to the spirit. Which are you? God calling today wants to remind you that you're a spiritual being, that you are one with God if you choose to be. You're either at one with him or you're at one fighting with him. <laughs> either way, he's with you because he's going to accomplish his purpose. The easy way or the hard way. Frankly, for me, this 
with the devotional and evotional is the easy way. I hope you choose that today. Listen to him. He's got something for you. God bless.